Child stardom is both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, you can make lots of money while your peers are worrying about their grades. You can enjoy the glamour of the entertainment industry, which is a privilege. But then you grow up and you find it's a struggle to continue on the path as an actress. Such is the story of Eve Plum, best known for playing Jan Brady on The Brady Bunch. At eight years old, she was cast as the middle daughter in the now classic sitcom and tasted success very early on. As she grew older and the show ended, save for the occasional reunion, she managed to find some success. But there were also a lot of hurdles on the way. Join Facts First as we present Eve Plum opens up about her life after the Brady Bunch. Meet Jan Brady Long before Eve Plum became known to millions of viewers as Jan Brady on The Brady Bunch, she embarked on a journey into the world of entertainment. She was born April 29, 1958 in California. She was catapulted into fame through her role as Jan, but her first significant breakthrough came at age 6 when she appeared in various television commercials. Soon after, she transitioned to guest roles in popular TV shows of the 60s, laying the foundation of her acting career. However, it was her portrayal as Jan Brady, the middle sister of the Brady family, which would become her most recognized role. The Brady Bunch premiered in 1969 and showed the daily lives and mishaps of the Brady family. Eve Plum's character Jan was an essential part of the show's success. She navigated the typical challenges of adolescence, including sibling rivalry and teenage insecurities. Her portrayal of Jan, often seen as the middle child struggling for attention, resonated with audiences then and still does today. Plum's chemistry with her on-screen siblings and the overall charm of the Brady family made the show a cultural phenomenon. The Brady Bunch became a beloved classic, capturing the hearts of viewers and ensuring a lasting legacy in television history. After The Brady Bunch, Eve Plum continued her acting career, exploring various roles in television, film, and stage productions. But her portrayal of Jan remains a defining moment in her career and a cherished memory for fans of the iconic series. Her work outside The Brady Bunch While Eve Plum gained widespread recognition for her role as Jan Brady, her acting career extends far beyond the iconic sitcom. Plum has showcased her versatility and talent in a range of projects, including notable film roles and compelling TV appearances. One of her more memorable performances was in the 1988 comedy I'm Gonna Get You Sucka, directed by Keenan Ivory Wayans. The film was a satirical take on the black exploitation genre and features Plum in a humorous role as a news reporter. Her ability to blend humor and wit in this film showcased her versatility as an actress. Her foray into independent cinema saw her in the 1997 film Nowhere, directed by Greg Araki. This avant-garde drama explored the lives of a group of Los Angeles teenagers and provided Plum with an opportunity to embrace a more unconventional character. Her involvement in independent cinema demonstrated her willingness to step outside the mainstream and experiment with diverse roles. This was a brave move, as Greg Araki is often known for making dark, and difficult films to watch. For an actress who was a lovable child on a 60s sitcom, to appear in one of his films was a risky move, yet it ultimately paid off. In addition to her work in film, Plum has made notable appearances in various television shows, further showcasing her acting prowess. She appeared in the TV adaptation of Louisa May Alcott's classic novel Little Women in 1979, displaying her talent for period drama. Plum's participation in beloved TV shows like The Love Boat, Army Wives, and Bull demonstrates her adaptability across different genres, from romantic dramas to legal thrillers. If you look back at her career, she's managed to work in both comic and dramatic performances with such ease. She succeeded with all types of ensemble casts and managed to stick out no matter how big or small her role is. She truly is an actress who gives her best to the role even if it's not the main attraction. Looking to the future, Eve is set to appear in the upcoming TV series Folk, adding another exciting project to her resume. It's a show about folk singers in their 30s, and we don't have too much information on her role, but it will be great to see her return to the small screen. She's amassed over 70 credits in a career that has spanned almost six decades. She made her debut in 1965, and in 2023, she appeared in four episodes of the TV series Praise Petey. This is quite remarkable for a former child star who often don't have careers that last once they grow up. Upon reflection, Eve Plum's acting career 
has been both a journey rich with diverse roles, proving her prowess both on the big screen and the small screen. Her willingness to embrace challenging characters and work across different mediums underscores her dedication to the craft and her enduring contribution to the world of entertainment. Eve Plum opens up about her life after the show. Despite the challenges of being typecast, Eve Plum has successfully transitioned from child star to a versatile actress, showcasing her talents in various roles on stage, screen, and even in the art world. She faced the inevitable challenge after The Brady Bunch ended in 1974 of breaking free from the character of Jan Brady. She pursued her education and honed her acting skills, taking on a variety of roles to distance herself from the image of the middle Brady sister. One of the key moments in her career was her portrayal of a troubled teen in the 1981 TV movie Dawn Portrait of a Teenage Runaway. This role showcased Plum's range as an actress and helped shed the Brady image, proving her capability to tackle more serious and mature characters. In addition to TV and film, Plum has also made significant contributions to theater. She's appeared in various stage productions, displaying her versatility. Some of her notable stage credits include Miss Abigail's Guide to Dating, Mating and Marriage, Love, Loss and What I Wrote, and Same Time Next Year. She's also explored her artistic talents in the realm of painting. She's established herself as a respected artist, gaining recognition for her unique and evocative paintings. Her artwork often showcases her love for landscapes and natural scenes, and her paintings have been exhibited in galleries across the United States. This transition into the art world reflects Plum's multifaceted creativity and her ability to express herself in various mediums. As the years have passed, Eve Plum has continued to maintain a connection with her roots. She's participated in reunions and special projects related to the Brady Bunch, acknowledging the impact the show had on her career and the enduring legacy of the Brady family. Her ability to balance the association with the iconic series while pursuing her own unique artistic and acting endeavors is a testament to her resilience and passion for her craft. In recent years, her career has shown no signs of slowing down. She remains active in both acting and art, proving her talent and dedication have stood the test of time. She's opened up about how grateful she is for her role as Jan Brady, but she didn't want it to define her as an actress. There were, of course, challenges with audiences accepting her, but she took on the challenge. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Eve Plum as an actress? Let us know in the comments section below.